is carve a pumpkin. But what I do is I don't just carve, you know, the classic jagged teeth and triangle eyes type thing. I do what I like to call creative pumpkin carving. It's very exciting. So what I thought I would do this year is um, carve the connected symbol into a pumpkin and perhaps show you how to do it so you can have a go. So first things first, what you have to do is get hold of the logo. You can either copy it from the website connectedfilm.com or you could email me at beth at connectedfilm.com and I can send you the image and you can either print it out or you can do what I did which is what, because I don't have access to a printer unfortunately so I traced it directly from uh, the screen I don't know whether you can see that but yeah, that's what I did so then basically all you need to do is get a pumpkin and I would recommend taking your template with you just to make sure that your pumpkin is the right size for the template um, so yeah. and so this is the tutorial for pumpkin carving so the first thing you need to do, you need to do is um, cut um, the top off of your pumpkin so you obviously need a knife for that but obviously caution because knives are very sharp and pointy and I don't want you to be stabbed so you know, just be careful with your knife and yeah you just uh, cut the top off as I'm sure you know because you just have to do that with normal pumpkins anyway so I've got the top of my lovely pumpkin now and as you can see there's all that delicious grossness in there so you obviously need to keep that out and do whatever you want with it. My mum always says, put it in a bowl, we'll do something with it. But of course, we never do. It just stays in the bowl and then we just end up having to throw it away. So, yeah, just, yeah, put it in the bin or keep it in a bowl and keep it forever. If that's what you really want to do. So, yeah, just get your average spoon and scoop it all out. There we go. Lovely. And obviously, this is quite tedious because it takes a while to do, um, but it has to be done, I'm afraid, if you want a really nice pumpkin. So, yeah, just carry on with that until it's, of course, empty of seeds and that weird stringy stuff. Just delightful. So, but this is the finished product of the pumpkin. All nice and hollow, nice and top. So, you're actually going to put it on top. So what you need to do next is get your template and tape it to the pumpkin. It's probably better if you cut it down a bit just so it fits on a little bit better. So you just get some normal sticky tape and you tape it to your beautiful pumpkin. Shouldn't be too difficult. You might need to bend your, um, well you will. You will need to bend your template around your pumpkin. But don't worry if it gets like all crumpled because it's just going in shape with your pumpkin. There we go. So there we go, I've taped my template to the pumpkin and now I'm ready to start poking holes through it. Okay, so what you have to do for this bit is you get um, some pins, just like that, and I, I suggest you get a couple of them just in case they bend and stuff. And you just um, poke through the, the, the outline of your logo, just like that, until you've covered it all really. And if the outline is thicker in places, do it on either side of the outline, just so you know where you're cutting when you get to it. So what you're doing is you're just poking through the outline with your needle like that, not too far apart, just until you've covered it all, like this, and you just carry on until you've done it all. Okay, so now I've punctured um, my pumpkin along all the lines, so now what I need to do is just um, take the template off, which is what I shall do now. Okay, so I've got my lovely puncture marks, which you can't really see on my camera, but you should be able to see at home. And um, it all looks a little bit confusing, so what I would re recommend you do is keep your template to the side, just as a guide to um, 
to what you're carving really and now you can um, start carving so you just get your knife again again be very careful with your knife because it's sharp and pointy and um, with this connected logo do not cut all the way through the um, the pumpkin because the connected logo is ironically all connected so if you cut all the way through then it will just fall out so um, don't cut all right through the pumpkin just cut like the first few layers if you if you, if you find it easier, just go over with your with your knife where um you put your pins in, just so you've got a little bit of a guideline and it you've got an indentation there. So then you just like start to cut with it. So I'm just starting to cut through now. Not all the way though. Like that. And you just carry on until you've basically done it all. We're connected in every way And all the things we do and say Cast a shadow or light the way If you're feeling rejected, you're not alone For there's a fire in your soul It speaks the truth you've always known so now I've carved my pumpkin. I've done um, some nice thick parts here so the light really comes through on those bits, showing the thickness of the lines. And to just make it thicker, you just put your knife in and you just give it a bit of a wiggle. And you can cut some bits out as well to make it even thicker. So now it's done, all you have to do is wait till it's dark and see the magic. And from the ashes, your love will rise like a phoenix in the clear blue skies. This crimson bird that never dies will rise again. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed making your creative pumpkins as much as I have. And don't forget you can get other templates as weird and wonderful as you like online. Particularly one good one, which I will give you, is zombiepumpkins.com. And please, please do send me some pictures of your pumpkins at beth at connectedfilm.com. We are connected.